40 Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kaguya-sama Love is War chapter 273. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, Feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal links are in the description box below. So, okay, so we found out what's going on with the Akka situation. So what Akka is doing is holding a contest to um, choose an artist so that they can focus on writing. Akka is doing the writing for Oshinoko, so this makes complete sense uh, for me as well. So I'm guessing what will happen if we do get a sequel, which I really, really am hoping that we will for Ino and Ishigami, is it will be a um, fairy tale 100 years quest, uh, um, Boruto, and eh, Dragon Ball Super is more of a mickle than a sequel. Well, it might be heading into sequel territory. We'll, we'll see. Um, situation where um, Akka is doing the writing and um, someone else is doing the drawing. I will not be mad at that. Nah. Because I've seen how great it's been working. Um, Kishimoto, it took until like chapter 52 for Kishimoto to come back for and do the full um, writing for Boruto. And um, Toriyama, it took him a little bit too. It was a back and forth thing with um, Toriyama and Toyotaro, but I'm not mad at this. No, I hope as long as I get my sequel and Akka just doing the writing, I'm, I'm fine with that. I just want my goddamn sequel. <laughs> um, because we've seen how well it's been working for 100 Years Quest. We've seen how well it's been working with, uh, for Boruto and we've seen, um, well, it's been interesting with uh, Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Ball Super, it's been a hit or miss kind of thing in terms of the writing. But Toriyama is like that. <laughs> so I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that's what the contest is for, is so that we could get our sequel. I really, really do. Oh, please do this, Akka. But the other thing I have to say as well, because I've been doing research on, um, on another article I'm going to be doing in regards to dubs, I had to listen to the Kaguya-sama Love is War dub. Oh my god. That dub is horrible. Oh my god, it, it really goddamn is. I was just reminded how much I don't like dubs. And it sounds so horrible. It's horrible. Oh my god, it's horrible. Everyone sounded so bad. I was like, my poor babies, they got, they got bastardized. This dub. Anyways, um... Last chapter, uh, we wrapped up K's story, which by the way, K sounded horrible in that dub. Oh my god. Um, but I liked how K's story wrapped up because we got to see her with Mama um, Shiragane and uh, got to see what the, you know, the relationship was like there. And I liked how it was. <laughs> There's the Instagram shit. <laughs> that shit was funny. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. August. Here we go. Over the summer, I finally managed to get over him. I figured it's about time I shake it off and start looking for a new love to replace my current feelings for him. I love Miyuki's like, what? Wow, amazing. And all the more so since unlike me, you've liked him ever since you were a kid, right? All the days he spent visiting you in the hospital, all the kindness he's shown you over the years, to think that you finally managed to get over all of that. What? Am I supposed to just get over him like that? Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> Ooh, so this chapter is titled Makishijo. Nagisa uh, Kashiwagi and Tsubasa uh, Tanama's final chapter part one. So Ishigami, it's not your final chapter yet. Nah. Well, it's not like I don't get it. It's not easy to just get over someone you've fallen for. Oh, especially if you've been in love with them for so long. Oh, but 
Ishigami, you, no, 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 no. You weren't in love, though, dude. You were infatuated. That's a different story. You have no idea the lengths I went in, I went to in order to give up on uh, Subami Senpai. Oh, how so? You see, the key is to keep yourself from remembering them. So I locked away everything that reminded me of Subami Senpai and started paying more attention to other girls. For example, uh, for oh my god, I fucked this up. <sighs> You see, the key to, is to keep yourself from remembering them, so I locked away everything that reminded me of Tsubami-senpai and started paying more attention to other girls, for example. And now, thanks to that, my heart is finally at peace. Oh, so you're completely over her now? Of course. Oh, no, wow, that's incredible. Ah, that reminds me. <gasps> Ooh, apparently Tsubami-senpai has a boyfriend now. Huh? I'm kidding. <laughs> You were completely over her. I know, kitty. I know, kitty. I know. My cat was saying that you're being stupid, Ishigami. That uh, that's infatuation. You should. It should be just like whatever. But it doesn't seem uh, to me like that's the case at all. Um. <laughs> Of course I can't- I can't be completely over her! This kind of thing takes time! You just have to wait it out! To be honest, this is already a huge improvement, um, over before. If you made that joke back when I had just gotten rejected, I would have trashed this entire room by now! Sorry, sorry. Why would you even do something so cruel? Uh, come on, I think I've earned the right to tease you every- um, wait. Yeah. Come on, I think I've earned the right to tease you, um, back every once in a while. Well, I'm sure things are tough right now, uh, but one day I'm sure you'll look back on this time as just another page of your youth. Shut your mouth, you condescending jerk! <laughs> oh my god. Look at the accuser, he's like, what? You think you're cool just because uh, things are going well with your girlfriend? Must be nice. <laughs> Must be nice to be able to pity us now that you're safe and sound, huh? In fact, just break up with her right now, dumbass. Maybe then you might be able to understand how we feel. I don't think you need to go that far. I know, kitty. You're being stupid. Oh, you have a lot of opinions today. So come in my lap and share your opinions. You've really got things nice, huh? <laughs> Auntie's flying all the way across the ocean every week just to help you uh, tidy your room, isn't she? Come on, there's no way she'd be able to come every week. Both of us are pretty busy, so the timing doesn't work out a lot of the time. Uh, well, that's how a long-distance relationship ought to be in the first place. To think that she's flying back and forth across the world just to see her boyfriend. What a total moron. Dude, that's some dedication. But if Tsubasa-senpai uh, decided to go abroad, you'd do the same thing, wouldn't you? How ridiculous! I never do something like that. Wait, I totally would. <laughs> What's the total moron here? That said, I really need to pull myself together. I'll definitely get over him. Just you watch. After all, it wouldn't be fair to Nikisa if I let myself stay like this forever. Here we go. Um. Are you really okay with that? Well, I was planning on waiting for them to break up, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. At this rate, I'm going to become so jealous that I won't be able to think of her as a friend anymore. See, this is girl code right here. She's not being a complete bitch. Like, other people. Like, uh, um, certain people that, uh, <laughs> rent a girlfriend. I'm looking at you, Ruka. By the way, I've only ever talked about this with you two, so you better keep this a secret, okay? <gasps> oh no! The fact that I like Tsubasa Kun is a secret I intend to keep from Nagisa until the day I die. <gasps> no, she never heard it! Now that I think about it, the reason I became interested in Tsubasa in the first place was because I always saw him getting along with Maki-chan. <gasps> what? 
Monkey Chan can be a lot sometimes, so when I saw him being so nice to her, I figured that he must be a really kind person in general. From the very start, I've always had a pretty good impression of, um, of him. That's why when he asked me out, I just kind of ended up saying yes without even, without even thinking. But now that I think about it, that might have been a mistake. I had no idea that Monkey Chan liked him. In fact, I never even imagined that Monkey Chan had the capacity to fall for someone. And now as a result, I ended up stealing Subasa away from her. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Say, Kaki-chan, did you know she liked him? Well, I had a rough idea. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? If I, known, if I had known, I would have stopped meeting with Subasa when Maki-chan was around. This whole time, I had just assumed that Maki-chan was supporting our relationship. I just... I have no intention of sticking my nose into the love lives of other people. See, this is a friend. This is what a friend is supposed to do. She is following girl code. She didn't know. Like, if she was doing this shit knowing, like, knowing that her, her friend liked him, then that would be bad. That would be violating girl code. That would be all sorts of bad. But she did this on, without knowing how her friend felt and she feels like shit so i feel <sighs> maki this is all on you maki if you would have said something then you know things might have changed but i understand where maki is coming from too she wants and she wants her man to be happy she cares about her man's happiness more than her own and her friend's happiness, too. It goes to show you how, like, how good of a friend Maki is. You and Maki-san are both close friends of mine. As such, it wouldn't sit right with me to take either of your sides. Good on you, Kaguya. To begin with, I never knew any of the specifics. I just managed to put together a rough picture of things. See, Kaguya's good like this. She's staying out of the, she's staying out of their business. This is between them. And how long ago was that? Eh, I'd say about seven years ago now, um, back when she was still being treated at uh, the Tanama's hospital. A while before you and Maki first met. <laughs> so she's liked him. Ooh, yeah. So she's liked him for that long now? See, this is all on Maki. Maki should have... Maki keeping that a secret from her was a huge problem. Because... If Maki would have told her, and this was before he asked her out, then things would have been different, I think. Because then, I think, yeah, things would have been a lot different if she would have told him, but uh, should have told her. But uh, at the same time, it's like, I can understand why Maki would feel uncomfortable but still, you've known her for that long? I mean, I understand why you question. Now she got a question if Maki's her, her friend or not. If she couldn't tell her that kind of secret or couldn't tell her a crush like about her crush. That's kind of fucked up. From my perspective, she's had her sights on him for so long that it's frankly absurd. I'm not sure I wanted to hear that. <laughs> well, you were the one who wanted to know. If Maki-san uh, uh, Maki really found it unbearable to be near you two, she would have distanced herself a long time ago, but she hasn't done that, has she? <laughs> she may be a lot of things, but she's no fool. Nope. So if this is the path she's chosen after evaluating all her options, then all I can do is respect her decision. But what about you, Kashi uh, Kashiwagi-san? Now that you know, what do you intend to do? I... Ooh. <gasps> what? Shortly after that... Day, rumors started spreading that Nagisa Kashiwagi and Tsubasa Tanama had broken up. <gasps> this is a friend. This is girl code right here. Ooh. So there's not going to be a chapter next week. I have to say this right here. This is what girl code is. This is girl code at its finest. Nagisa chose her girl over her man, over the man's. I'm so proud of Nagisa for this. She felt like shit. 
but she didn't know that she was hurting her friend. And no guy is worth that. Wow, I'm so proud of her. She could have been a complete bitch and stayed with him. But she thought her friendship was more important. And she did not want to see her friend hurt. Even though, as I said, Maki is at fault. To an extent, Maki is at fault. Because she should have said something to Nagisa, like, before anything went down. Like, way before she started dating, um, uh, uh, Tadama. Way before. But... I kind of hope we get to see that conversation. I do. But I'm so happy to see this. This makes me so happy. That's why I don't like what Osaragi did. No, I really hate That's why I'm like, when I see what Osaragi did to Eno in comparison to this, I'm like, that. what Osaragi did to Eno, that's not, that's not girl code. Nah, she violated girl code, period. That's not supporting your friend. That's being a complete bitch. What you have here with Nagisa and Tsubasa, or not Tsubasa, I'm sorry, Nagisa and Maki, Nagisa found out that her friend was in love with her boyfriend like long for a long time and she still was supporting their relationship. And she felt like shit. Like, I gotta give props to Nagisa for this. I'm glad that we saw like a contrast. I really am. And I got to give props to Kaguya for staying the fuck out of it. Because it wasn't her business to tell. If this was not her, she was staying the fuck out of this. Until she was asked, it, she stayed the fuck out of it. But I, I think, it, did you know, Nagisa felt like shit. She had to overhear, the thing that really sucked was she had to overhear it. She said, um, that, uh, um, Nagisa, that Maki couldn't tell Nagisa. That's the thing that really kind of bugs me a little bit. I just am really hoping that we'll get to see that conversation between Nagisa and, uh, um, and Maki, but I'm very pleased with this. This is girl code. This is what girl code looks like. If for those of you that read um, Rent a Girlfriend, that, and you've seen all that bullshit with Ruka, now you understand why I'm pissed off at the shit that went down with Ruka. Now you see why I get pissed off at the shit that's going down with Saki and, ha and Kanojo Mokonojo, and why I can't stand how she's treating Shino. That shit is not girl code. Shino's been following girl code as long as she could. She has, but... What Mirka did to help Shino, Mirka helped Shino realize, I'm spoiling Kanojo Mo Kanojo, you have to deal with it. <laughs> um, Mirka helped Shino realize, you know, how she really feels and supported her. That's more girl code than what Saki has ever done for her. This though, what we just saw here, this is what girl code looks like. This is what a friendship really looks like. And I'm very happy that we got to see it here. This makes me so happy. It really, really does. I like seeing this contrast to how Osawaki treated Eno. Because Eno was treated like shit, let's be real. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What you guys thought of this chapter. What do you guys think of what Nagisa did? I'm so happy for... I'm proud of her. I'm very proud of her. It, su it really sucks that, you know... Tsubasa got hurt in the process, but she had to choose her girl first. That's her friend. Her friend, her friendship is more important. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more cocky content. If you could do that, donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network, that's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!